Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we did purchase a conveyor belt. This is a smaller unit for homeowners slash small business applications, I guess you could say. This is a belt. This is not a chain driven conveyor like you see on a lot of commercial units. But we still have the nice hydraulic lift up and down. Now this is an 18 foot length conveyor belt with a 12 inch wide belt, six and a half horsepower engine, a removable tongue that features two inch for the two inch ball, the swivel tires so you can swivel your unit as you're making a pile and just kind of windrow. And it does have your levers, your lever control for on and off and also a lever control to raise and lower your belt. I'm not going to go ahead and bore everybody with statistics of this unit. For us, this works out great. It's been working very well so far. When we first got it, we did tighten the belt a little too tight and we had some issues with the tracking. But once I figured out that, this thing has been working great. We're also going to use the Wolf Ridge 28 Pro with the hydraulic six-way. We're going to go ahead and convey into the back of an old grain truck here that uh, was used on the farm a lot of years ago. Go ahead and time lapse that and let's get started. All right, Chris, I got to get your sweatshirt off because I don't want to get this all messed up. So, hey, I love the shirt, Wolf Ridge 28 Pro. That's where it's at.
Now the hopper for this belt is not quite large enough for the width of the wolf ridge. If there were some extensions made, I believe you could pull right up to it. We will probably definitely do some modifications to this hopper to accommodate our wood splitting needs. Other than that, this belt's been working great. I hope you all enjoy the demonstration of the Range Road 502 standalone conveyor. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, give this a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. If you want to see something, let us know. We'll try and get it on here for you. Thanks, y'all.